We all know America is home to big companies that are known worldwide and make new technological advances every day. It makes sense that all of these companies would have impressive corporate headquarters buildings, don't you think? Well, those buildings are now works of art, and they're also some of the most expensive buildings in America. Welcome back to Made Well Finder channel. This video will discuss the extraordinary construction, design, and other features of some of the most expensive corporate offices in the United States. All that's left to do is look at it together. Starting in fifth place is Amazon's new headquarters. The next headquarters of Amazon is being built in Arlington, Virginia, and is known as Amazon HQ2. After a shocking announcement of HQ2 in September 2017, Amazon has now revealed its plans for the massive campus, which will have 2.8 million square feet of workspace and 2.5 acres of open spaces. As you can see, the Helix, a 350-foot-tall blast structure, will serve as the campus's primary focus. Workers can use the Helix's spiral, natural walking routes. The skyscraper is one of three office towers that will make up Amazon's new HQ2. Lucky for us, in line with its climate ambition to be net zero carbon across its activities by 2040, Amazon plans to become more sustainable by implementing this big initiative. An all-electric central heating and cooling system powered by solar energy generated from a farm in southern Virginia will be at the heart of HQ2. Many acres of open public space and an amphitheater for performances and film showings under the stars. In addition, amenities like dog parks, childcare centers, and parking lots for food trucks will be available in an urban forest setting that will serve as the site of the company's second headquarters. There are sure many things to enjoy. Any time in the future, when HQ1 is finished, Amazon says it'll be home to 50,000 employees and it plans to spend $5 billion on infrastructure. Next on the list is none other than Google Plex. One of the most common things you'll probably hear about Google is that it's a great workplace. It's well known for the lavish perks it provides to its employees, including three free gourmet meals every day. Google's main office is called Googleplex in Mountain View, California. The original Google office facility spans 2 million square feet, making it the company's second largest structure. Google invested a billion dollars in buying the massive 26-acre land that now serves as Googleplex, the company's second largest office complex after the 111 8th Avenue building in New York City. Not to mention that that was the same year that the New York Chelsea market was purchased for a staggering $2.4 billion. Did you know that worker happiness and productivity are two goals of this facility? You heard that right. Google Plex's design includes a surprising number of windows to maximize exposure to daylight. Photos behind the scenes show employees' desks decorated in Google and Android souvenirs. The firm also provides swim-in-place pools where users may swim against an artificial stream. You may find outdoor ping pong, billiards courts, and football, tennis, and soccer fields everywhere you go on campus. All of them are connected by a set of private walkways. To ensure the safety, an on-site medical team ensures the safety of employees and the business even pays for a massage parlor and beauty salon for their employees to enjoy. Isn't it cool? Free, healthy, and locally grown food is available to all employees at Googleplex thanks to the on-site food gardens and cafes. This is why Googleplex is one of the most expensive office buildings in the world. A quick break before we get any further. I recommend subscribing to this channel for more entertaining videos on building projects from throughout the world. The third placeholder on the list is the sleek Apple Park. Not something you can take home and use, but worth seeing. It's the largest Apple product ever created. Since moving from one infinite loop to Apple Park, the company's old headquarters no longer exists. It's a finished product introduced by former CEO Steve Jobs and is based in Cupertino, California. This gigantic structure now symbolizes Apple's dedication to sustainable building, renewable power, and cutting-edge technology. The new 175-acre Apple complex is a massive 2.8 million square feet or more than 40 regulation football fields. This is the largest lead platinum certified office complex in North America and it runs entirely on renewable energy. Moreover, the structure is connected to nature by a parkland setting with hundreds of trees and a winding path. Called the Ring for its gigantic circular spaceship-like form, this complex serves as the headquarters for the company. 
circular glass panels around 845 feet join all four floors of the ring in height. These curved glass panels are the biggest ones of their kind. The ring was built with security in mind, and it's equipped with mechanisms that make it more earthquake resistant. Safe and beautiful, it's that good. The ring's 3,000 unique blast panels brought in the highest price tag at over $500 million. The landscaping and drainage of Apple Park cost the corporation $85 million alone due to the company's emphasis on the building's appearance. In addition, Apple reportedly spent over $25 million on the building's entryway alone. Apple Park is expected to cost around $5 billion to build, which is only an estimate. Coming in second place is Microsoft Headquarters. The Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington serves as the company's main headquarters. There have been many upgrades to the headquarters since it first opened in 1986. Now, it's expected to span over 8 million square feet of office space and be home to more than 50,000 workers. Offices, event halls, recreation facilities, restaurants, stores, and common areas are spread over the campus's 125 buildings and 500 acres. This shared resource system includes work and play sites tailored to the needs of Microsoft workers. In addition to the many structures, there's a whole football field, bocce, hoops, baseball, and beach volleyball areas. It covers a lot of sports, doesn't it? Trails ranging from 2 to 5 kilometers are also well designated on campus. The campus layout is more like a village than a typical business complex, with plenty of space for pedestrians and cyclists. It has a very homey vibe. The Shuttle Connect is a line of hybrid buses used by Microsoft workers to travel between office locations. Microsoft's current renovation project involves the construction of 17 new office buildings, totaling over 3 million square feet of space to replace 12 aging structures. Redmond's current buildings will continue to undergo a big modernization project that began a few years ago. Refurbishment work will cover 6.7 million square feet of the existing facility. For a total of $1 billion, this plan could accommodate between 15,000 and 30,000 additional workers over the course of three years. Ranking the highest on our corporate headquarters is none other than Facebook City. Next to its Silicon Valley headquarters in Menlo Park, California, Facebook is constructing its city on a 59-acre plot of land. The area will be known as Willow Park. In many ways, Facebook's massive headquarters in Menlo Park, California resembles a city more than a workplace. There are about 30 structures here, along with plenty of high-end facilities. With Frank Gehry as the architectural lead, this is one of the tech giant's most ambitious efforts. This proposed development will have 1,700 apartments in addition to a hotel, grocery store, pharmacy, and several other retail and commercial facilities. Adding to the park's natural beauty, Willow Park's design includes several architectural elements, such as an elevated park inspired by New York's High Line and contemporary office building for workers complete with a giant glass dome. The city's one and a half acre town square will be surrounded by about 200,000 square feet of retail space, not to mention permanent applications for Facebook's $1 billion plus West Campus expansion in Menlo Park have been issued. Permit fees are a small portion of the total cost of a project which certainly is a larger value. Total costs for Facebook City are estimated to be around $5 billion. Isn't that jaw-dropping? We're excited to get into this discussion since we know you'll appreciate seeing this video. To see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You'd already done this, right? Great, all right, then let's get rolling to the next video if you wanna know more.